One, two, three. Gary here with Guitar Tricks and in this video we're gonna go over a super easy way to play the Christmas classic Silent Night. Alright so this is a four chord song we've got G that's what key we're in we've got C we've got D and we've got E minor. Now three out of four of these chords can be played with either one finger or zero fingers if we just use the lower three strings. So we're gonna talk about the two variations you can do a, a mix and match. You could do just the three string, just the full chord. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple possible strumming patterns or ways to simplify it, make it a little more complicated. But before we get into the lesson, please go ahead and click subscribe so that you get all the latest and greatest content from Guitar Tricks. And if you want to be notified of any new lesson, be sure to tap the bell. All right, so let's start with this G chord. So G, it could require a big stretch. When I'm in the key of G, I like to use fingers two, three, and four because going from G to C becomes really easy. And that's one of the switches we do here, right? Because all you gotta do then is take these two fingers and pull them down one string and put your first finger down. So this transition requires very little movement as opposed to this. That requires a complete shift of the hand, all right? Finger three, so I like to do Ring finger, middle finger, pinky like that. All right, so then the easy way to play this would be just the top three strings and just put the third finger, the ring finger, on that third fret. And with any chords, you wanna be as close to the fret wire as possible. That get, gets you a stronger tone and requires less effort than coming back here. So either like that, or like this. That's what we're going for. Okay, then the C. So that's pretty much the only way to play a C chord if you're playing the full chord. But as far as making it a one finger chord, just the top three strings and just that first finger on the first fret of the second string counting toes to nose. Now you only want those top three. Just now, just strumming it, I hit the fourth string by accident. It doesn't quite sound right, so you wanna make sure you get the top three. On the G, if you hit the top four, it's still gonna sound good, but not on the C. All right, then we've got E minor. So E minor, what I would do if I was playing the full chords is probably do fingers one and two on the second fret of strings four and five, counting toes to nose. But on the easy version, we just do the open three strings. Top three strings, one, two, three, toes to nose. And then the D, no matter what, is going to require the fingers. Now to get a D chord, one little tip maybe no one ever told you is try to get your hand angled up against the fretboard like that. And then this allows you when you wrap your fingers in to have these two fingers kind of in a straight line and this finger then has room to come out. Sometimes people think you're supposed to keep your hand like this, which could make that chord a little awkward, but for this chord I like to come a bit on an angle, like that. And then I like to have my thumb mute out the low E string to allow me to strum freely. Because the low E string doesn't belong in that chord. All right, so those are our chords. And now let's go over the structure a little bit. I'm gonna play the full chords. Feel free to play the easy chords. 
so we're in the time signature three four that means we have three quarter notes per measure you don't have to think about the quarter notes just think we have three beats per measure so we start off with silent night holy night is four measures of G now I played two measures of G as an intro just to help establish the key and if I'm playing in a room of people I want to give everyone a moment to kind of hear the harmony right so I started with two measures of the G chord one two three one two then went into it silent night there's two measures holy night two more measures then two measures on the D all is calm. Two measures on the G. All is bright. Two measures on the C. Round your virgin. Two measures on the G. Mother and child. Two measures on the C. Holy infant. So two measures on the G. Tender and mild. Two measures on the D. Sleep. One measure on the E minor. One, two, three. Then to the G. Peace. So that is the one little tricky part there is on uh, peace, we split it between E minor. Peace to G. Then stay on the G for another measure. Sleep in. Then one measure of D. F. Then one measure of D. Heavenly peace, then two measures of G to end it. And that's really it. So you can just strum on every beat. You could do like a down, down, up, down if you want to give it a little more rhythm. More like that. You could make it even more simple, just play on the chord change. You could just play one once per measure. Silent night, holy night. You know, whatever works for you. Now, this key, it's not quite ideal for me, might not be ideal for you, so don't be afraid to use that capo. Find a key that works for you, just slide it around, see what happens. Let's try it in this key on the fourth fret. Silent night, holy night. See, so that one's a little higher, maybe better for me, not sure. Go even higher. Right? So you'll find what works for you sliding that capo around. Now you might have trouble just boom hitting a new key. Like I, I was able to just change the capo and, and my voice automatically adjusted. That could take a little bit of getting used to. So one trick is find your starting note on the chord. So my starting note is this note right here. It's the note D. But you also have an open D string. So if you know my starting note is the open D string. Now when you move the capo around, let's say you move it to the fourth fret. And you're like, oh wait, I don't know how to start it. Play that open D string. You know, maybe you move it over here, seventh fret. What's my starting note? Open D string. Oops, that was the A string. Open D string. Silent night. So that's kind of a little uh, tip that's helped me in the past is find your starting note in whatever the open key is. And then however you found it there, you'll find it the same way with the capo on. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great holiday. I hope you get to play this song and many others with your family and friends. If you want to learn more about playing guitar, see some other holiday classics, head over to guitartricks.com. Happy playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.